Mark, a, a very disappointing afternoon. Uh, didn't see that coming, six 0 No, I think that um, you know we started the game. We had the best chance, you know, before they scored from the corner kick. We didn't take it, but it was kind of a little bit symptomatic the way we were. I felt as if we were, you know, twenty percent down in what we've been of late as a team and as individuals. You know, the guys that have been winning these games, you know, weren't at it today. Um, as a group, therefore, we suffered. I think we were slightly undermined by the changes that we were forced to make. But you know, that's not an excuse because I think that uh, great, a greater problem than that was just the fact that we were all not quite on our game. You know, so uh, very disappointing. I thought, to a degree, I thought six was hard on us, but you know, these things happen. Um, at three 0 uh, we've got a great chance. You know, I thought Wes had scored actually. Um, at half time, I'm standing here just before half time watching it, and I'm thinking if we can nick one before half time, we're still in this because I know we've got so much more, and that goal might have given us that confidence. And even at 3 0, had we nicked that goal there, it might have given us a belief to go and maybe get another one and get back into the game. So, you know, there were, there were aspects of it that, um, you know, of nearliness, as it were, but generally speaking, we were beaten today by a far, far better team, a team more on their metal, more. Um, at it and uh, everything that I expected of them today. It's just that we weren't everything I was expected of us. You mentioned the, the two enforced changes. Uh, you mentioned twenty percent down. Is is that a reason at all, or, or is that just a byproduct of where we were this afternoon? Uh, I think that's not the reason we lost six. No, I, I think that um, uh, it's something that didn't maybe help us. But um, I think certainly that you know the fact that you know. Marvin and Moti and Scotty and the boys that have been in so on their metal, you know, weren't you know as effective today. It's got nothing to do with the fact that you know we've we lost two midfield players. So you know we had a general malaise about us that um, was was everyone, you know, and uh, that was disappointing. But it's also something we can get over. You know, this game we can put behind us. We can start again on Monday and build another six-game run. You know, we went to Ross County had a disappointing. Uh, result and, and went in six unbeaten, you know, so that's the sort of attitude we've got to take. You know, somewhere along the line we'll lose another game. We've just got to make sure that it's not next week. Is that something you've already said to him in addressing him this afternoon, just to forget about this one, go home, forget about it and get back to, to work on Monday? I've not said to forget about it, but what I, have got to, what I have said is go and think about what we've done all week, what they've done all week, how they've prepared, what's been in their heads and what was in their heads coming here today because uh, clearly there, there wasn't the right kind of mentality. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure what's happened uh, in between uh, last week and this week. So, you know, we've got to get to the bottom of that. Um, and we'll do that about talking about it and looking at it, but, you know, working on the training ground. And in addition, I think we've shown today, I know Laz will be back next week, but we've showed that we're a little bit short in numbers, particularly in the middle of the park. So, you know, we need to address that. Do you think there may be something that the, the, the talk during the week was about robust hearts play, play difficult place to come that's maybe in their heads a bit this afternoon no I don't think so okay, you know we were playing a wee bit of mind games as well you know we, we, you know, we've been like that you know that's the way we've played that's what we've done to other teams you know and Hearts are as good as anybody at at the moment but Hearts play football as well they've got a lot of skill out there they've got a lot of uh, joined up football going on as well and they make good decisions when it needs to be simple they're doing it simple when they can mix it up a bit they do it the strikers hold it up you know they, they, they're creative as well they're quick they're fast they're athletic they've got everything going for them at the moment you know they're a really good side in this division at the moment you know so you know we've shown some of that in recent weeks but we didn't today so we've just got to get that back. Is maybe looking at Hearts then and saying what can we learn from what they've done to us today as well? I think that's more like it you know I think that um, I mean I know for instance I, I'm convinced that you know when Dundee came to our place and we did that to them they learned from that they went away and they were 20 minutes 20, the next game they were four up in 20 minutes you know and I know that Paul looked at us and thought we've got to do some of that so absolutely you know it's a lot of reminder of what we've been doing and if there's a model that we want to take then yeah certainly some of what Hearts do and uh, uh, the way they go about their business is something we can learn from. Obviously losing Liam Grimshaw was a bit of a disappointment because you were quite keen and thought you actually had him in the bag I guess and Please, as you said, short and midfielder. Do you think of MDN before the Ross County game next week? Uh, I have no idea. You know, uh, you know how can I answer that? You know, I think that uh, uh, Lash should be back. You know, which is helpful because I mean, last week, uh, albeit that it was against Cove, and you know they're a Highland League team, they're not Hearts. Uh, Lash was the best player in the park. You know, so you know he brings a lot back to the team. So we'll be glad to have him back next week. And um, beyond that, yeah, we'll have to see what else we can do to to maybe help these lads, you know, because I think they deserve it. I think they've they've done brilliantly till now. It's a disappointing day, but, you know, there'll be other disappointing days in the season, but there'll be a hell of a lot more 
uh, encouraging and, uh, and pleasing days. No, so obviously your 900th game as a manager is probably, probably one you won't look back on with and celebrate at any time. Well, you know, I, I can't remember what my 800th was or my 706, but I think in the future when people say, what was your 900th, I will remember it, that's for sure. Yeah, well, hopefully the 901st season is back in one form next week. Thanks, Mark.